You know, I'd recommend it to, to anyone. Uh, I think from, I have a lot of biblical experience and thoroughly enjoyed it. There are people who don't have the biblical experience who will understand it. And I think that's the great advantage of it. We've got to get the Word of God out of the cage of language that, that puts a barrier between people's understanding and get it so that they can say, hey, this is real. This is real life stuff. And I think it just brings the Bible to life in, in a way. So I think children can understand it. I think teenagers can understand it. I think college students, young people. I, I cannot see how it would be possible for them not to understand it if they just get into it and start reading it. Well, I, I think everybody should read The Voice, quite frankly. I mean, everybody should read it. We hope that scholars, we believe scholars, will, will enjoy reading it, will be, will be uh, captivated by some of the things that we've done. But we want everybody to read The Voice because uh, it, it makes the scriptures available in a way that we've, we've never seen before. It's a fresh look at, at God's Word. And I have the experience and the privilege of hearing the voice of God speaking directly to me through this. And I know other people who've had that same experience, that they feel God speaking not just sort of in the past, but God speaking to them right now and addressing their lives and calling them into a greater life, calling them into His story and say, look, find your place. Find your place in God's story. And your life will be full, your life will be meaningful, your life will, will really matter. I'd say the voice is for the church. Um, we want the church to enter into the study and the understanding of Scripture in a new way. Now, there, there are a few people I have in mind when we're working on it. I, I give out a lot of copies of The Voice um, because I believe the best way to, uh, to do evangelism is for people to know the whole story of God. I, I, I've realized I'm not very good, I don't think many people are, at summarizing God's story or our need for salvation in a 15-minute conversation. I just can't do it well. But if I invite people to read the scriptures, I find that we have really meaningful conversations. I've had the privilege of giving the voice to all kinds of people. This last week, I gave a copy to a Muslim woman that I just met. She began to read it. She's come back to our church. She's come to a Christian church for the first time in her life and is engaging the story in a new way. As we're going through it, I know that there are a number of things that I understand because I grew up in church, because I've studied the Bible, uh, that a person outside the church wouldn't know or understand, or that many, even within the church, don't understand the worldview uh, that the scriptures were written in, the, the, the time and history and place of Jesus. And so we often, instead of footnoting something that you would have to look at in a different place, we've tried to add text that's very clear that it's not part of the biblical text, but that helps you understand so that you're not lost in the story. It makes sense. We want anybody, anyone, to be able to pick up the Bible and read it and get lost in the beauty of the story and continue to read more and more. I, I believe personally, and I'm, I'm excited about the fact that there are a number of very secular people today. You know, Bill Maher is one of these people. I hope to meet him one day because there are a few things we disagree about, right? He can get my blood boiling. But even Bill Maher, very secular, uh, tends to seem to hate Christian people. Bill Maher would say, everybody ought to read the Bible, ought to read the whole Bible. Um, he and I agree about that. I, I would love for everyone. I, and I think um, if you're very secular and you don't know God, the Bible is uh, something you ought to be informed about. Now, I personally believe that when you begin to read the Bible, and again, this is the strength of the voice, you're gonna begin to hear God's voice speak to you uniquely. And um, I want anybody on the street to be able to pick it up, read it, and fall in love with Jesus in the same way that I have.